In the words of the great British baking show, one of my favorites, on your marks, get set, bake, bake, fake and bake today on the Scott Allen Turner Show. Today, I guarantee I'm going to save you at least $15, probably more, but at least $15 from having to buy this book. If you're watching the live stream, you can see that I've got Rich Robert Poryu Kiyosaki's new book called Fake. Thank you to Batman out of Gotham City, one of our wonderful listeners. He uh, mentioned this to me in an email last week. I think it was Wednesday. I had the book overnighted. I had this whole thing read uh, by Friday evening. It was, it was stellar. From the book, fake money, fake teachers, fake assets, how lies are making the poor and middle class poorer. Fight fake with facts, says the book. That's a mouthful. Listen up today on the Scott Allen Turner Show. We will fight fake fake with factual facts. It's even more of a mouthful. Last night I was reading a different book, The Seven Principles for Making Marriage Work. Stick with me for a second. Over one million copies of those books have been sold. I've been happily married for almost 14 years next month. And like most things in life, you want to do well at something, you practice it and keep working at it so that it continues to prove and get better. So the author of the marriage books had this, they say he has a, a 91% accuracy when predicting couples will get divorced, which is not a great thing to know, but he's pretty accurate at it based on decades of research and science and his team. So he's got this accuracy in predicting when marriages are not going to turn out uh, from that book. Quote, plenty of people consider themselves to be experts on marriage and are more than happy to give you their opinion opinion on how to form a more perfect union. But that's the key word, opinion. Opinion. So I read that and thought, boom, the author nailed it. Opinion versus science and research. Some people might have an opinion. Hey, it's a hot day outside. But unless you go outside and look at the thermometer, it proves whether it's 90 degrees or not. That's facts. That's the science. That's not really research. You can go look at a thermometer. Facts matter when it comes to your money. And when it comes to Robert Kiyosaki's book here, first, we follow the money. Before we even get to this book, I go to the gym. They've got TVs up everywhere. Sometimes it's ESPN. Sometimes it's the news shows. My favorite is always The Price is Right because that's just fun entertainment. The little yodely guy going up the hill. Yodely, yodely, yodely. And then you get it right. You win some money. But in the news shows, they've got commercials for a particular company called Lear Capital. Lear Capital sells gold. Who is a spokesperson for Lear Capital? Robert Kiyosaki. That to say, follow the money. This book, Fake, is about, in a nutshell, if I could sum it up in just a handful of words, buy gold. (laughs) Buy, Buy gold. Follow the money. Bear with me on this. So uh, you go over to the Lear Capital website, and the first thing you'll see there, you don't have to do it. You can double check if you want. It says, gold. It has outperformed the Dow this century by 20% returns. Now, Maddie, when I say century, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Like 100 years. 100 years. That's exactly right. That's what most people would say. And that's some brain trickery going on right there. Here on the Scott Allen Turner Show, I'll teach people teach you how people manipulate your minds in order to get you to make foolish money mistakes. That's happened to me in the past. I teach you how to avoid these things. They're thinking 100 years. But the century is, is only 19 years. It's 2019, right? So in the past, we'll get to the past 19 years. But if you were to actually look at a century when it comes to investing, comparing gold to investing in the stock market, here's the numbers. And links will be in the show notes. Go check this out. You can verify it on your own. This is what I did Friday night for fun (laughs) because I'm a nut. In July 1919, gold was 20 bucks an ounce. What's it today? 1300 bucks an ounce. You bought gold in 2019, 100 years ago. A century, you've pretty much made $1,280 if you had held it for a year. What if you had taken the same 20 bucks and thrown it into the stock market over the past 100 years? Dramatic pause. No, let's do the yodel. Let's go back to the price. This is right. Yodely, 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 yodely. 
$312,000 if you missed that. $1,200 in 80, $1,280 in gold, $1,280 in gold versus $312,000 if you invested in the stock market. That's the real past century. Now, good marketing, you won't see that on the Lear Capital website. Gold doesn't compound. Gold is not an investment. Gold does not beat the stock market over time. We haven't even gotten to the book yet. This is just from a commercial that Robert Kiyosaki was pitching for. So, all right. Uh, when I fool you, I'm going to tell you. I kind of fudged the numbers there. If you want to go back and bore yourself with history, the, the gold standard was tied to the dollar until the mid 70s. So we, that's not really an accurate comparison. We've got to start in the mid 70s to get some more accurate numbers. And that's when the price of gold really took off. All right. So what if we, what if we did that? $35 gold coin in the 70s, it's worth 1300 bucks today. If you invested $35 in the stock market in the 70s, you'd have 5400 bucks today. Now, I'm not a math wizard, but I play one on T. I really am a math wizard. That's $4,100 difference between buying gold and investing in the stock market. But, but, but the people are saying, but, but in this book, buy gold, buy gold. Okay, on Lear Capital, they said this century will be fair, the past 20 years. So if you bought gold in 2000, it was 425. It's 1300 bucks now. You made almost 900 bucks dollars. If you had invested in the stock market, you would have made 200 dollars less over the past 19 years. But here's my question: uh, Did you buy gold in the year 2000? No. Uh, did you buy gold in the year 2007? Maybe. No. No. What if we looked at the past 10 years? Uh, gold, you would have made 200 bucks and stock market, 2,700 bucks or $2,500 more just in the past 10 years. It's fake math. It is fake math. They're using fake math to make money off people just simply by changing the dates and how they present them and the words that they use in trying to sell gold. The financial Pied Pipers do this all the time time and I love calling them out and destroying them on it and explaining to you how they do it so that way you don't make the money more on mistakes that I used to make. You can keep more of your hard-earned money in your pocket. You don't need to waste your money on gold. The only gold we have around here is we did go out and buy a $200,000 diamond and gold encrusted cat necklace so that the cats could run around looking with all their bling. That's the only gold that we've got. No. I don't think I own any gold. I have a titanium ring on for my wedding ring. <laughs> that's that's about it. Folks, we're just getting started. I haven't even gotten to the book yet. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to the book. We're just going through the commercial. So you got to stay tuned after the break. And we'll be getting to some of your questions and more of this book as we destroy it and save you at least $15. Scott Allen Turner, be right back after the break. And all the things you've done for me and you oh. 